This is a message to all the employees of the DHS, the NSA, and whoever else in these alphabet soup agencies who plays a role in the massive surveillance apparatus of the United States government. Listen, we know you're watching us. We know you're listening to our phone conversations, reading our emails, accessing our social media activities, reviewing our internet browsing history without warrants. Those of us who've been paying attention have known for a long time. So this recent scandal with PRISM where all of this supposedly came to light isn't really a shock. In fact, it's kind of redundant. You've been leaking information about your spying activities so consistently over the past decade that one would have to be partially lobotomized to still believe that the US government holds itself to the rule of law. Due process is no more. We get it. You can now do whatever you want, whenever you want. Warrants, probable cause, ah, who needs them? All these concepts of inalienable rights. So last century, aren't they? You know, in spite of all the fuss about the leaks and whistleblowers, the truth is that those who are running your organization want us to know that we're being watched. That, after all, is the real point of the game. If you can make people feel paranoid about what they say to their friends and what they post on the internet, then maybe they'll fall silent. And if everyone stays silent, then you'll be able to take this even farther without resistance. And then the people you work for would win. Nothing new or novel here. This is just the basic psychology of a police state. And America most definitely is a police state. You helped make that possible. You assisted in this power grab. So congratulations. Pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Got news for you though. We're not going to censor ourselves and cower in fear about what might happen when the government reads our emails or listens to our private conversations. No, 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 no. To the contrary, we're just going to get louder. You see, we're not ashamed of our anti-government, anti-corporate fascism position. We're not the criminals. We're not the ones murdering countless civilians all over the planet in this phony war on terror. We're not the ones declaring ourselves to be virtual kings with the right to arrest or kill anyone anywhere without a warrant, to detain anyone indefinitely without a trial in secretive prison sites scattered around the globe. We didn't do that. The scumbags that you take orders from did. They are the criminals, and you are an accomplice. That means you're just as guilty as they are. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're just following orders. That's not a defense. It didn't work for the Nazis in Nuremberg, and it won't work for you when this all comes down. And make no mistake, this is coming down. That's not a threat. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to call for people to hunt you guys down and hang you from street lamps. I'm really not interested in settling this in blood. But unfortunately, that's how these dramas usually play themselves out. Historically speaking, things don't tend to end so well for the cowards, idiots, and psychopaths who follow totalitarian madmen until the fat lady sings. The thing is, while it might not bother you, to sell your children and grandchildren out like you have, there are a lot of people who aren't so morally flexible. There's a lot of people who actually care what kind of world they're passing on to future generations. There are a lot of people who would rather die than let their children grow up under the thumb of a faceless tyrant. And those people are getting very, very angry with you. We the people don't want your so-called security services. You're not working for us. If you were, you would be using your power to take down the criminals who are running the United States into the ground. So on behalf of the people of the United States of America, consider yourself fired. If you aren't working for the people, who are you working for? You better get clear about that right now. You better choose which side of history you're going to be on. Because when the tables turn, it's going to be too late for an apology. There is an alternative ending to this story. But it's going to require that you grow a pair. It's going to require that you start doing what's right rather than just following orders. Let's talk about this in terms of the rule of law. The federal government was created by the Constitution. This is where its claims of legitimacy originate. The Constitution is a set of laws for the government. And every president upon entering the office swears an oath to abide by those laws. In case you forgot, there's a little section of the Constitution called the Bill of Rights. Now, the Patriot Act, the NDAA, PRISM, the NGI Biometrics Database, and numerous other programs that the U.S. government has put into place violate the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th Amendments of the U.S. Constitution. Therefore, the personal data collected without warrants, without probable cause, and the systems that are being used to collect that data are tools in the commission of a crime. 
If our kangaroo court system will not bring justice, then it is incumbent upon you, the cogs in the machine, to find a way to bring this deranged circus sideshow on bath salts that we call the U.S. government to account. It is incumbent upon you to act independently to bring about the destruction of those databases and the systems of information gathering. It is incumbent upon you that work within the surveillance apparatus to frustrate and slow the functioning of the system when it is used against the people, and to turn it on these criminals who have positioned themselves at the top of this machine, to gather information about their activities, and to leak that information to the public. You helped break your country, so you better help fix it. This isn't a request. This is your duty. This is your one and only path to redemption.